Hi everybody, it's Theron. Welcome to my craft land party. Um, I am, I'm a little hesitant to record what I'm about to do. Um, besides the dog barking in the background, Bowser, shush! Um, I don't entirely have everything I need to do what I'm going to do. So, but let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Uh, I'm looking for a particular spot, and I think I can get to it pretty easily down here. This is uh, XFX's mining area. I think, if I turn on my F3, um, I'm looking for... where? Which way am I going? Negative Z, 830... No. Minus 13. Looking at minus 13. Oh. Oh, I'm glad his uh, his portal isn't his uh, beacon isn't working down here. Let me take these guys and block myself in because I don't want to do too much damage. And I'm looking for 831. I'm looking for right here, and we are at 12. So this spot would actually work. Let's see if I can go down a little bit though. So I want to get a little bit away from, uh, yeah. Oh wow, I got some redstone. So, I need to dig out a little area down here. There's, oh, there's some iron too. <laughs> lucky, lucky, lucky. All right, so. We're at six. Take this out. Actually, the dirt. I can use the dirt. Oh, but there's bedrock, so I don't need the bedrock. I want to be above the bedrock. Okay, so work. So this is is this the spot here? I want eight minus eight thirty one. So this is the spot here. Cool. Okay, very good. Um, let me dig out this iron since I'm here. So. I have, I have a shulker box here with some stuff in it. And this is like the stupidest prank ever. Um, but it's it's got some history. Um, if you've seen earlier videos, you'll know that uh, um, VexFX and I like pranking each other by placing uh, a red flower, a poppy, uh, in a flower pot somewhere in in each other's base. And uh, on Tuesday night when I saw Vex, uh, he was like, he kind of commented, he's like, I haven't seen a poppy in a while. <laughs> Is there one there? And I just kind of shrugged and he, he got all paranoid. Um, there was, I had not, I did not have a uh, poppy placed. Uh, at his place at that time. There is one now, but I wanted to do something else. Oops. Let's uh, li let's light some stuff up here. I'm going to dig a little farther that way too, I think. Um, so at this point, this is the spot where I want to be. You just double check. 831 minus 13. 831 minus 13. Excellent. So here I want to put a dropper. Facing up. Yes. And then... Yeah, I'm going to have to dig a couple more than this way. And I'm going to fill all this back in. So I don't want to dig any farther than I have to. Uh, I'm hesitant to uh, record this, let alone release it, because um, because sometimes Vex watches my videos, and so I don't necessarily want him uh, seeing this. So I don't know if I'll... I'll I, I will release this but uh, at least not not soon so we have uh, got a few more things here so we have a, a dropper facing upward with some uh, red poppies in it and what I want to do let's see I want to put a observer block down 
to drive this. Is this the right way? Yeah. Oh, Poppy. Where'd it go? Oh, it's in my pocket. Okay, good. So this will look for... Oh, and very convenient. There's a uh, there's already a grass block there. I don't have to dig one out. So I'm going to put down... This thing's going to uh, be dispensing poppies while I do this. So this birch sapling is going to sit here, and it's not really going to grow on uh, on its own because I'm going to do that. It's never really going to grow. Um, and then I can put down some stone here. And and then I want to put another observer right here. Boop. That when it triggers will light up this light, which will give this birch sapling the, uh, the light it needs to grow. Potentially. Or not, it won't actually be able to grow because it's going to be blocked up in a little one by one. It won't have room to grow, but it will. The game periodically checks to see uh, if uh, if things are going to grow. So the sapling that should have just flashed that light, did it? I didn't notice. Yes. Boop. Okay. So the game checks periodically. Uh, and I think it's it's a it's kind of a surprising number actually. It's like once every um, I made more observers than I need. Um, no, I need that. Okay, so I'm going to put a piece of glowstone here. So this tree will have the necessary requirement to grow, and that was it needs well it needs it needs to has well, blah, blah 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 blah. It will have the necessary criteria to try and grow. So the game will periodically go through and check all the saplings in the world or in the loaded chunks and say, hey, are you, do you want to grow? And there's like a one in 4,000 chance that it will. And if, uh, so it'll come and check it and, and if it needs to have light. Oh, did you see that flash? So this guy just got checked and he just, and the game just said, do you want to grow? And the, and the tree tried to grow. Um, uh, now it wasn't able to because it didn't have room, but it still triggered a, a, a state change on the block. So this observer triggered and this light went on. So this will happen. It happened pretty quickly there, but this will happen. Uh, as I said, it's like a one in 4,000 chance every tick. And that's every, it's what, 20 times a second. So I didn't do the math, but it, it works out to be something on the order of every five-ish minutes, I think, uh, that it will, it'll try to grow. And if it selects this block and, and this tree sapling, the sapling says, oh yeah, I want to grow, then it will turn on this redstone lamp, which will, if it checks this sapling during the one tick that this redstone lamp is on, and says, do you want to grow? And this sapling has the one in 4,000 chance of, and it says yes, then it will trigger this observer and it will dispense one of the red poppies. So um, that means there's a, every tick, there's a one in 4,000 chance of a one in 4,000 chance of it growing. And as a result, the, uh, the net, uh, the net re result of this is that this dispenser will dispense it's something on the order of every seven or eight days so about once a week um, a poppy will get dispensed and I'm going to block it up with solid blocks and so it will effectively become an item elevator and as a result, it'll it'll that item will go all the way up to this spot up in Vex's base, which I picked specifically because it's pretty much right in front of his Nether portal. And it's a sp it's a spot where he will he will wander by from time to time. So. <laughs> Um, 
So in the, every, as I said, about once a week. So every seven or eight days, this thing should on average dispense. Do I have more stone on me? No, I don't. Oh, let me, uh, I think I have more stone in here. I do. Okay, good. Uh, so every seven or eight days, it'll dispense a poppy and it will dispense it. Boop. I'll dispense it in a, in a place where he will periodically walk. Um, and so there's a chance that he'll see it. It'll be a slim chance, but there's a chance. And if he happens to, he will see a poppy just kind of laying on the ground and he'll hopefully just kind of wonder, what is that doing there? And, and then move on thinking maybe somebody dropped it. I don't know. Let's see here. He's got one, two spaces between one, two. Okay, good. So we're all covered up too. Good. And he's still not on. So we can, we can go. And, uh, I don't know. We'll see, uh, we'll see if he mentions anything about, uh, red flowers just sort of popping up in his place. He may not mention anything even if he sees it. So this might not be a particularly satisfying prank, but I, I kind of wanted to do this. That uh, use of the observer, I didn't come up with that. That was, I, uh, I'm i going to look. I think it may have, it was Il Mango or Slice Lime. It was, it was one of those guys. I will find the video where they sort of show it as a way of doing randomly, like long duration, random redstone ticks. And I will link it in the description. But it should just pop up right around here. So every now and then there will be a poppy just laying on the floor there for five minutes. And if he doesn't walk by during those five minutes, then he will miss it. And that's fine. That's kind of that's kind of my idea. So there we go. <sighs> a slow burn prank if there ever was one. And two stacks of uh, poppies should last a couple of years. Two and a half years, something like that. But I can always dig back in. I know where it is. I can always dig back in and uh, and and refill it. Whoa! So there we go. All right. So that was a little mini video, a little bonus video. Let's call it that. I won't call this a full episode. Um, and I I will edit this and I will hang on to it. And maybe at some point I get. Uh, Uh, I'll get a reaction out of XFX. I don't know. We'll see. And of course, I can always make more. It's super cheap. It's two observer blocks. And the observers are pretty easy to build. So um, it's it's a pretty cheap little prank. You need some glowstone, some uh, a redstone lamp, a couple pieces of dirt, a couple saplings, and a couple observer blocks. And then a, a dropper with whatever you want it to drop. Um, and I'm using the ground beneath his base as an item elevator. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. And, uh, if you like this, please, please hit the like button. Um, it helps, uh, it helps get the like button is pretty much the way YouTube seems to choose what videos to put in the recommended in the recommended list, which is how people find, uh, my video looking at my diagnosis, my, uh, and my uh, st stats that's pretty much how people find the video when it happens to pop up there so um, if you like this and you think other people might enjoy it, please hit the like button and uh, that's it and then subscribe if you want to keep watching but then you have to go to the subscription area manually it doesn't show up on the front page anymore but but that's it uh, if you liked it uh, go ahead hit like and uh, let your friends know and Come back next time, and I will see you later. Bye.